I'm gonna show you guys something. Look, look, Hattie, look here. Let's go, let's go. Watch where she goes. <laughs> she waiting at my truck. That is awesome. I'm coming, baby girl. I just want to show them that when I pull these car keys out, you know where to go. <laughs> Heard I on our way to the feed store. And uh, let's go. All right, sit down. <laughs> oh Lord, she's smart. I'm serious, she is smart. Hang on, kid. That, that's not a trick, guys. Was not a trick. She's always watched me. We come out. If I pull those keys out of my pocket, she knows that it is associated with the truck, and she'll take off the truck. Pretty smart, ain't she? Well, there's no jack in the box on the way. <laughs> She's all darn it. Darn it, Paw Paw. There's not, baby. We got to run pick up some feed this morning. And uh, we uh, did our chores and uh, put up the little hen nest. And I'll show it to you when we get back. We get out there. Uh, they're not really laying. I got one egg this morning, but they're not really laying. There's seven hens. There's seven but they went through this molting, you know, and, and they're a couple of years old, and I probably need to gather up some eggs and, and has to be off some replacements or, or buy some replacements. The eggs are getting very expensive. I don't know if you noticed that or not. And, uh, well, chicken feed is too. <laughs> anyway, I may buy 15 or 20 little chicks and just have them ready for spring. You know, they'll be ready for spring because the way these are laying, it's going to be a while before I get enough eggs to, you know, put in the incubator. And I like my chickens. I like uh, their production red crossed with uh, uh, barred rock. I think they call them used to be, I think, the same thing as the old Dominecker. I think so. Probably the same thing. And most of them are, and they're black, and I, I like that. I, they're just, uh, I was reading where, I don't know how true this is. Black chickens are not as prone to being uh, caught or attacked by, by hawks. Hawks kind of relate that black chicken to a crow, and they stay away from crows. They're scared of crows, I guess. What do you think, Eddie? You think it's, think it's true? I, I don't care, Papa. <laughs> anyway, uh, I read that. It may be true because I have no, very little predator problems with my black chickens, especially for, for like from hawks. Now, we lost a white chicken. Well, not a white one, kind of a cream colored chicken the other day. We lost a white guinea the other day. And I lost a gray guinea that got attacked by a dog and crippled itself up here to the shop where I was at. And I was inside working. It's nighttime. And it come in there. And I thought, this is so strange. This little guinea walks in and he just stands there looking at me. And then when I reached down and picked him up, I saw how messed up he was. But I guess he's coming for see if I could save him. And I, there wasn't no way. I docked him up and made him comfortable anyway. All right, Addy, we're gonna go. We're almost down the driveway. I just want to tell y'all about black chickens and this girl running to the truck when she sees my car keys come out of my pocket. <laughs> I love you guys. Hey, folks, me and Addy are here at the feed store, B&B &B Feed and Supply. And uh, we gotta get some feed and I see someone's backed up there to the dock, so I'm gonna have to wait a few minutes, but they get get out of the way I like this place this is a very neat little place and, and they, you know they don't only sell uh, feed and stuff but they have like a, a little caged area on the side over here where they, they sell chickens people bring chickens in like on a consignment and stuff 
and they'll sell those. Uh, the porch is set up for uh, entertaining, I guess you could say. They, you know, they got chairs out there. You can sit out there on a good day and have coffee and stuff to visit. All right, he's leaving. So I went pull around the docks. I see my friend Ralph. Ralph has uh, been here many years with the old owner, and the old owner almost had her, and, and the business was kind of going downhill a little bit, and these new people come in and bought it, and they're not here today. I don't guess. She may be in there, but they've done a great job. She has fixed this place up, and I told y'all her husband uh, is into fiber optics, like commercially, and he goes all over the country. You're going to have to wait right here, baby girl. Put the windows down for you, okay? It's cool. All right. I'll talk to you more if we get inside. Morning, Ralph. Morning, morning. Did you pick up her breakfast, her, bre her, her, her breakfast jack? No, because I didn't go to Jack in the Box this morning. Uh, I told her. When we got in the truck, I said, no, we're not going to breakfast, Jack. We're going to go get feed. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? All right. It's a cold morning. You here by yourself? Yeah. Uh, folks, this is my friend, Ralph. Hi. What's your last name, Ralph? Wooderson. Wooderson. Ralph's been here a long time. What are you doing, Daisy? Yeah, I asked her about video. She said you'd talk to her about it. Yeah, she said it. That's fine. They have got a good supply of feed. Look at all that. It's publicity. Yes, yeah. It's a good supply of feed. Almost anything, anything you could want, they've got it. Anything you could want in the line of feed, it's in here. All right, let's go and see the little dogs. Hey, hey, they got to run to the store. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Hey there, little one. Yeah, I told her I wanted to come down and she got it fixed up so nice. I love this place. Yeah. You know, she's done such a good job. What is her name, Ralph? Tammy. Tammy? Tammy and Jason. Tammy and Jason. What's her last name? Jones. Where do they get B and B at? They're grandsons. Okay. <laughs> That's neat. Brooders that keep chicks and stuff. All kinds of stuff in here. Yeah, I, I need to. I was talking a while ago about ordering me some chicks later on, but I, I hate to right here in this cold weather, you know? Yeah. Uh, I need three cubes. Uh, one horse and mule. They got one left. I need uh, two all-stock pellets and a uh, a hen scratch. Two all-stock pellets? Yes, sir. And I think that would do it. And a hen scratch? Yes, sir. That is so neat. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I love to cook. I love to cook outdoors too. I'm gonna start now. It's cooled off. And bees messing with them bees. How'd you open that door? Oh, them dogs. They, them dogs. They know it. They know how to get around. I'll get my truck open up for you. Come and they keep their hay in this big trailer here if you need hay. It's getting busy now. <laughs> you come just at the right time. Just at the right time. Let's just pull around here. We're gonna try to go back in and visit a little bit when they kind of clear out. Uh, I don't want to have to be videoing when they got customers. Has a neat stuff on the porch. 
Yes, yeah, this, is, this is a country store, folks. Uh, it's awesome. She's done an awesome job. Uh, they come in here and, and remodeled. Uh, this porch out here was big cages uh, where people would bring chicks and stuff, even goats at times would be here to be, you know, like sold on consignments. But uh, they've done away with all that and they have do have pens for some chickens over there. But people have chickens they want to sell and they bring them, drop them off. But anyway, it, it's really neat. They got these little decks out here. They got the chairs on, on the decks. And we'll wait for a few minutes and if they kind of clear out, we'll go, we'll go back in. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta, we gotta watch him, don't we? So see, we break them all the time. Everybody that got born, we break them all the time. See? Yeah, we so sure we do. One company, it was so much, we ran out of it real quick. But the other company carried the same thing. We ordered it. It was six dollars higher at this other company. Like, okay, we got our shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna take that small bag, Ralph, and that high point too for the cats. See how it works out. Y'all got everything around here but that thing. Out behind the couch. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's what I do, man. Uh, I tell you what, you're going to have to go. You're going to have to be like me. I, I, I'm getting out of horse business, man. These horses ain't making no money. They got to go. <laughs> It'd be different if it, back in the day if they were making money. <laughs> I think it's getting colder. Bill, I it's getting colder. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's getting down. There's that sand, biscuits, and gravy. I don't know. I come in with my plate and they didn't have none. <laughs> hey, friends. Make right. sure you get me. I'm the sucker for it. Comes over here by horse feed. And what is your name? Gary. Jerry? Gary. Gary. Yeah. All right. Uh huh. And Gary. Got a lap dog. Yeah, Gary was something that comes by horse feed. Gary comes to buy horse feed. And, and the horses ain't making no money. The horses ain't making no money, and, and Ralph don't get cheaper, does he? No, he don't. <laughs> he ain't going no cheaper. He don't get cheaper. <laughs> Yeah, I love this little country store that I do. She's done so much down here. Yes, she has. She has done a yes, job on well, this place. I'll tell you, you wouldn't have known it. Like, welcome to our porch. Yeah, I love this porch. So, I don't know why you don't have a coffee pot sitting out here. She's working on that. <laughs> because this would be a great place to come and have coffee. Yeah. We talked about having domino table, car table set up out here. And and then will kick back and visit with everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, that's what this place needed. It needed this because... Uh, how long I've been knowing around? 16 years? Over 10 years. years. Yeah, over, way over 10 years. Even when we was at the other store. The yeah, down that's there. where I started. That's where I met Ralph at the other store. I've been around for 16 years, I guess it's been. 16 years. You loaded a many a bag of feed, had you? I see many of owners come and go, and I'll probably see another one. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you was you, you, you one year ahead of me. I came in 06. <clears throat> when I come in 06, you was already here. Yeah. Yeah. Been around one. I always had my dogs at the store. Yeah, I always have. That's what makes it like home. Yeah. You know. You got I don't know dog? what I'd do, do if I never came to work without a dog. Oh no, I couldn't. I don't know what I'd do without that and out there in that truck seat. Hoping, they, hoping they, I'll go to Jack in the Box. What she's hoping. And they always want to greet everybody. Yeah, well, see these two right here. They still owe me for. Them. <laughs> I brought them here. Oh, did you? I rescued. Oh, that, Ralph, you do. You owe me. <laughs> that, that was your companions. Yeah. I rescued that one out of from back in spring door. Down in the woods, the guy went off and left the trailer house, left everything. Left the cats and the dogs. And That's I was awesome. going down, I'm thinking of stuff out of that because the guy that owned the property told me to go down there and clean up a little bit. And that little dog would just see my truck coming and all ass took it. So I went to a 
to the dollar store and I hadn't bought dog food. Then I couldn't figure out how I was going to feed her. So I just gave her a big bowl of it and set the rest of it in an old icebox he had sitting out in the yard. And the next time I went up there to feed and showed up, it was still there and I fed him. And I said, well, this is getting old. I can't keep coming up here. No, she need the home. So I brought her back. But she yeah. got a good home here. Yeah, I knew that. And that one there was running the streets down in my neighborhood. And people was about to shoot her. Wow. And uh, she would come up in my yard and eat my cat food, run my cats off. She was kind of wild. Well, they both know, know, know that they found a home when they came here. Yeah, they did. And, uh, I've got her and brought her to me. Well, both you guys, y'all, y'all, y'all become angels to those little dogs. Yeah, yeah, and I'm so yeah. proud of them too, man, because while they were living, they was, I mean, they was in bad shape, man. They wasn't, this, they didn't look this good. No, I know. And the lap dog, he did a good job to them. Guys, I'm gonna get on home. I've enjoyed this. Yeah. I'll get this thing posted probably next day or two. Don't you do this every day? I do a video every day. Sometimes I do an evening video, but most of them in the mornings early. But uh, I've been doing it for like a year and a half. You like me retired? Yes, sir. Yeah, I retired on the back end. You got plenty of animals. That's what I do with my money, is feed my horse. Hey, me too, me too. The money I make, I don't spend nothing on myself. Most everything I, I get goes back to my babies. Yeah. We need a we need a Miss Smith on this video. Now that's what she does. She told me the other day she don't even buy clothes. She don't get her nails done. She don't do nothing. She spent she spent uh, at, uh every month she spent two hundred and something dollars with me. Wow. For hay, just hay. Then she comes over here and spent 300 with him for feed. Yeah, she's feeding them good. I think I met her one time before. Man, she's got, she's got a, a Texas All right, boy. folks, I'm going to cut this off and get on back home. That is ready to go. I've enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoy this little feed store and the, pe the people that hang out here. It's really neat. I'll catch you guys later.